it is moles of solute in one liter of solution. So 2.4 molar means that I have 2.4 moles of copper one sulfate in one liter or let's say 1,000 milliliters because the answer is in milliliters. <clears throat> milliliters of what? Milliliters of what? No. Solution. Solution. Remember that mo most of, of them are based on the amount of solution. The second data I have is the mass of solute. I have 385.5 grams of the solute. And the other data I have is the molar mass for copper sulfate. It says that one mole equals 223 grams. OK. Which are the units for the, for the answer, for the final answer? Milliliters. If I need milliliters in my final answer, what should I do with this conversion factor? If milliliters are the units for my final answer, what should I do with this? Milliliters should go on the top. Why? Because it's the, the unit for the final answer. Oh. I will not cancel milliliters because it is my unit. OK. So what I will do here, let me just move this a little bit. I have this. And I have this here. This is the data I have. OK. Um, I will not say there's a formula. I just will work with the three data I have, and I will organize them in such a way that at the end, the units that will remain will be milliliters. Oh, okay. To do that, I need to take the 1,000 milliliters And I will divide them by 2.4 moles. This will need, oh, no. Let me just take this, OK? OK, let's do this. Ah. This is 2.4 moles here. Yes, but I need to start with this because I need the milliliters above. Then I will multiply this by what? If moles are below and I need to cancel moles, what will be my next conversion factor? One mole. One mole. Equals 223 grams. Yes. <clears throat> and then here I cancel mole with mole. What else do I need to cancel here? <laughs> grams. And what will I use to cancel grams? Where else do I have grams? OK, I have the mass of solute. Mm -hmm. 
And then I can cancel the grams. And that's it. Okay? What will be the result of doing this? Milliliters of solution. Once I have canceled all the units, what I will do is I will multiply 1,000 times 1 times 385.5 divided by 2.4 times 223, and these are already milliliters. Yes, Ileana? Or no? Huh? Because it is below, it's a molar mass. To transform the moles into gr the grams into moles, or the moles into grams. Okay, so it is 1,000. Okay. What will you do instead of this? Why? Why it is too much? <laughs> Okay, this is one possible way to solve this, okay?